Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to learn, how to make dynamic RSS feed, in PHP with MYSQL database. Do you know what is RSS? It stands for really simple syndication, and it is mainly used for, distribute website latest headline contents, on number of people. It is mostly make in XML data type, by using RSS technology, there are millions of reader, around the world, get the latest information on web. Now, let's start discussing this topic, so here we have one table like post, in this table, there are seven table column like ID post title, post description, author, date time, post image, and post URL. In this table, we have already inserted some post content, we will make dynamic RSS feed from this table data, in XML data format, which is widely acceptable. This is our working folder, in this we have one images folder, in which we have store images, index.php file, in which we will write PHP script from make RSS feed. Here first we want to make database connection, so here we have write, dollar $connect variable is equal to, nuke to class, with three argument like, MYSQL host set to local host, database name set to testing, username set to root, and password set to blank. After making database connection, below this we have write, dollar $query variable is equal to, Select star from post table order by ID in descending order. Below this select query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute query. After query execution, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will return query execution result in array format. Now we have write header method, and under this we have write, content type set to text XML, and character set is equal to ISO 88591, so here we have set header property for XML data. Below this we have write, dollar base URL variable is equal to, base URL of this application, so here we have store base URL of tutorial under this dollar base URL variable. After this we have write echo statement, with text like XML version 1.0, and encoding is equal to UTF-8, here we have define XML version, and at end of like we have wrote PHP end of line statement. After this, we want to define RSS version, for this here we have write, echo statement with RSS version is equal to, 2.0. After define RSS version, we want to create channel, for this we have write echo statement with, channel. Now we want to set name of RSS feed, 
so here we have write echo statement, open title tag and close title tag, and between this we have write RSS feed name. After set RSS feed name, we want to define RSS link, for this we have write, echo statement with open and close link tag, and between this we have write dollar base URL variable, with index.php. Below this we want to define, RSS description, so here we have write, echo statement, with open and close description tag, and between this we have define RSS feed description. After this we want to define, the language in which feed is written, so here we have write echo statement, with open and close language tag, and between, this we have define feed language, so here RSS feed header part complete. Now we want to create RSS body part, which will be dynamic, so for this we have write, for each loop and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable, by using this loop it will fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop, first we want to define item in RSS feed, for this here we have write echo statement, with open item tag, under this tag, we want to define each item details. Under this tag, first want to set title of this item, so we have write, echo statement, with open and close title tag, and between this we have write dollar row post title variable. After this we want to define URL of the item, so here we have write echo statement, with open and close link tag, and between this we have write, dollar post URL variable. Below this we want to create, unique ID for each item, so here we have write echo statement, with open and close open and close, GUID, and between this we have write, MD5 function with dollar row ID variable, it will gender unique hash ID, in each post. After this, we want to define post publish date in, RFC 822 standard format, for this here we have write, dollar publish data variable is equal to date method with two argument in first argument we have defined date format and in second argument we have write string to time function with dollar row date time variable this code will convert simple date time format to rfc 822 standard format which is applicable in RSS feed published date data. Now here we have write, echo statement, with open and close publish date tag, and between this we have write, dollar publish date variable. Below this we want to define item creator name, for this here we have write, echo statement with open and close dc colon creator tag, and between this we have write, dollar row author variable. After this we want to define item description, which will be not more than 300 character, so here we have write echo statement, with open and close description tag, and between this we have write dollar row post description variable. 
Here we have write, dollar image size array variable is equal to, get header method, and under this we have write, dollar base URL variable dot images folder name, slash dollar row post image variable. Below this, we have write, dollar image size variable is equal to, dollar image size array variable with content length index, so here we have get image size. After this we want get image mime type, so here we have write dollar image mime array variable is equal to, get image size function, with dollar base URL variable, dot images variable slash, dollar row post image variable, it will return image details in array format. Now we have write, dollar image mime variable is equal to, dollar image mime array variable with mime index, so here it will get image mime details. Now we want to add media element, which have been used in blog post, for this we have write echo statement, with enclosure tag with, URL attribute is equal to images folder slash dollar post image variable. In this tag we have add length attribute is equal to dollar image size variable, type attribute is equal to dollar image mime variable, so this way we have defined media details under enclosure tag. After this we want to define category of content, so here we have write echo statement with open and close category tag, and between this we have write category of content. Lastly, we want to close item tag. So here we have write echo statement with close item tag. Same way, we want to close channel tag. So here we have write echo statement with close channel tag. And lastly, we want to close RSS tag. So here we have write echo statement, with close RSS feed, so here our code is ready, for how to create RSS feed in PHP, now check output in browser. Friends, here we can see, when page has been load into browser, then we can see post table data has been converted into XML format, which RSS feed. Here we have seen, in start of feed with XML version, and below it we can see RSS version, and after this we have seen channel, with RSS feed header like title of feed, RSS feed link, short description, and language of RFQ, and below we can see item tag and in this tag we can see each post details, which has been stored in item tag in XML RSS feed format. So, this way we can make XML RSS feed in PHP, it is required for transfer data from one site to another site, in cloud. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.